Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com. Today I'm going to just give you a follow-up video on a video that I did a while back on a rose gold gradient effect that we did inside of PowerPoint. I get a lot of comments about how to do this in Word. It's basically the same thing, but I want to go through it really quickly just to, because there are certain things, certain tools that uh, a lot of people are missing. I'm working inside of Word right now. I am on the Mac version, but it's basically going to be the same thing if you're working on uh, Mac or PC. And I have my text ready to go. I'm using a font called Southfall and I'm using the slant version. It's kind of the italicized version of, of this font. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in my my swatch palette so that I can pick out my colors. So I'm going to come up to insert and then go to picture, picture from file, and I'm just gonna choose this and insert that there. And I'm just gonna put that in front of my text and kind of move this stuff around a little bit just so that we can see everything. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so once I have everything in place, so I'm just gonna select all of my letters and I'm going to come over here. I'm on the home tab here and I'm going to come down to the text color and then I'm going to go to gradients and then more gradients. When I open that up, we're going to get the format text effect panel here on the side. So right here, um, you'll choose the type of gradient you want. For this one, we're going to stick to linear gradient and our direction. You can maybe do a, a diagonal gradient uh, and just play around with them and see what the best look is for your particular text. We're going to stick to 45 degrees but you can always adjust this. Here this is the most important part of this. These are the gradient stops. We need to change the colors so we're going to start with this first one and once we have all of the colors in we can easily just go back and adjust the positions of all of these uh, but for now I just want to get the colors in so we're going to go to the drop down menu and then we're going to go to more colors you're going to get this little pop up right here now underneath opacity right next to your color sample you're going to see this little eyedropper tool right there with that eyedropper tool, you can come over to your page and just pick up on some colors. So I'm gonna choose this color. Click OK. I'm gonna go to the next stopper, do the same thing, more colors. Grab that little eyedropper, choose a color. Click OK. Do the same thing again and then with this last one because I'm only going to use these three colors so I can just come in and choose from my recent colors. So I'm going to bring this one over to this side and so the whole idea with the metallic gradients is that you're getting in gold you're getting a form of like a yellowish brown color rose gold you're getting a form of pink and other metallics you're getting you know um, specific colors but this rose gold color is just pink what gives it the gold quality are the highlights and the shadows that you're using in the text so that's what's going to give you that gold that you're looking for so i'm going to come back and then just move this here now that we've got all our colors in place and I'm going to let that go so you can kind of see what we're working with. Unfortunately you do have to have it selected to move things around a little bit and if you feel like you need more light color you can easily just add click and add another stopper in there and that'll give you more light. So we're going to use this color here again you can just move these around until you find something that you're happy with. I'm going to go ahead and insert a text box. 
so that we can kind of so that we can get an idea of what this is gonna look like So this is much easier to see on a black background. So again, it's just um, exactly as we did it in PowerPoint in that first video. I'll link to that video here, by the way, if you're interested in, in watching that one. Okay, so let's take this a little bit further. This is something that we didn't do in the first video that I think will add a lot to a rose gold effect like this, and that is adding a text outline so we're done here this is the actual fill area of the text so we have the fill and then we have the outline area so i'm going to add a gradient outline and i'm going to come in and do the exact same thing now i still have my recent colors here so i can easily just come in load my colors just like this And then down here I have other options, um, but this is pretty important, the width. So it's a little difficult to see right now. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. So I don't know if you can see this outline on camera, but um, it's giving it a more detailed effect. So you can raise that up, which doesn't look very good with this font, but it just depends on the font that you're using. Uh, maybe if you have a, a bold, thick font. For this one, it doesn't look that good. So we're going to bring this back down and I'm going to leave it at 0.5. We want it to be really subtle, but we still want to have that, that kind of gold or the rose gold metallic accent. And we can fine tune this a little bit more to get exactly what we want. Maybe add another here somewhere and make that darker. And you can kind of move this around and it'll show you exactly what it's doing. I didn't select the entire text because it would be just too difficult to show you this if I had selected all of it. So you can do the first word and then go back and do the second word or select the entire text. But it's just a lot easier to see if you only have one word selected because then you're not getting all this blue Kind of, you know, that blue highlight that you get when you have everything selected. So either way is fine if you want to just work with the first word and then do the second word or just do it all together if you know exactly what you're looking for. So I hope this video did help for those of you that are working in Word. Until next time, thanks for watching.